If this was going on, we live back, so you already know what it is. I'm here to bring you this week's regularly scheduled Bleach chapter review. Now, of course, this chapter came out way earlier, and I was going to do it. I really was, but, you know, I, I really, really had to get some sleep. So I said, you know what, I have a long day ahead of me. But before I head out, let me go ahead and deliver, bring this review from my elite. So let's get into this. This is Bleach chapter 536, titled Everything But The Rain, OP. Nine. So it starts out with a sheen, slashes down a big hollow face, and of course, to his surprise, Masaki comes out naked, and we see the whole Reishi string soul connection transfer was a success. Then it cuts to Ryuki, and he's walking through the rain, depressed, mad, and Katagiri telling him, you know, let's go home, you know, what's wrong, Master? And he's just snaps and said, look, go home and tell Mother I'm a failure. I can't save the Quincy. He's just venting, you know, being pissed. And she says, no, no, it's not, you know, don't be like that, Ryuki. Don't be like that, Master. And he goes on, <clears throat> excuse me, she goes on to say, my whole purpose it's to serve you, Master, to make sure you're okay. That's my whole meaning of uh, being around. We see a panel, flashback panel of when they first met. You know, they were very, very little. Then it cuts to a little quick update of uh, current events. I mean, of uh, future events that happened. Masaki, after high school, she went on to college. She moved out of the mansion. And, and we see, um, <laughs> and it seemed like, of course, she couldn't stay there anyway. I mean, she was mixed with Hollow now. So it was basically like taboo for her to be there. And it, I guess it was the best thing for Yukin for her not to be there. And we see a sheen. We see, of course, he's starting, you know, he was opening up the clinic with the help of Udahara because the things he learned in the academy, he was able to apply it, but he still needed to learn a few things, so that's why he teamed up with um, Udahara. And, of course, over time, Asaki, she had come by and visit uh, Sheen and, you know, tease him and whatnot. And that's when their bonding relationship started to grow even more, and he started to fall in love with her. They start to fall in love with each other, etc. Bam! Right there, Ichigo was born. And it cuts back to Ashin talking to Ichigo, and he goes on to tell him, like, okay, you know, you were born, you know what happened when Aizen, I mean, with Rukia came, that whole thing, that was Aizen's plan. And he also says, when you went to Soul Society, those battles um, triggered your, um, excuse me, phone call, but it triggered on uh, your hollow side. But of course he said, but with that being, with your hollow side being released means that his reality wasn't enough to suppress it and uh, hold it down anymore, you know. And ever since Masaki died, you know, that uh, that racial strain, you know, it broke. That's when, of course, he attained his powers. And the thing is, he also goes on to tell Ichigo, like, nine years, from nine years to this day, is when your mother actually died. Like, you know, now I'm going to tell you the whole truth, how your mother actually died. And Ichigo, he's shocked, he's stunned, he's surprised. And naturally, it goes to it to be continued. So that was basically the quick rundown summary of the chapter. So, you already know what it is. Let's get into the thoughts. Now, all right. My overall thoughts of the chapter. Thought it was pretty cool. Now, I'm going to point out a few things why I like the chapter. First thing first, of course, there was no fighting at all. If you want to count the, the first page fighting. But there was no fighting at all. But that's cool. This chapter had a good amount of dialogue. So it made the chapter feel lengthy, of course. Um, I did like the fact that it showed the start of the clinic being opened up. I did like that battle, you know, Udar, you know, the peace sign. And I, just the extra amount of detail that I liked. Like when he was showing the panel of him opening up the clinic, he said he took what he studied that he could find very useful in, uh, in the Shinigami Academy and applied it to that. Also, now it, it's, it is very, very clear that, that you know, Katagiri and Ryu can, yeah, they're going to get down with the get down and, you know, have Ryu. It, it's, it's, it's just inevitable at this point. Um, I like the fact that it explained, you know, Masaki leaving, you know, after high school, going to college and everything. And I, you know what, and I didn't even really... I never really heavily thought about that, like, damn, how would they accept Masaki now that she has uh, hollow powers inside of her? But the thing is, not hollow powers, but she, you know, has a, um, a hollow inside of her. But maybe, of course, um, Ryukin, he was probably feeling like, you know what, it's hella best that she, you know, has nothing to do with us anymore due to the fact that it just caused too much hostility and just confrontation between me, her, mother, father, whatnot, etc. Oh, that's another thing, Ryukin's father, like, they still haven't, you know, but anyway, another thing with this chapter is the whole explanation with the Ichigo's hollow powers and that racial strength. Now, one thing I did wonder, you know, a couple chapters ago, now, I think last chapter, 
See that freaking gap. We know it's good that bleach is back, but we always get that freaking gap. Like, can we at least get a month, all right? A month where we just get four bleach chapter reviews. I mean, damn. But back in that chapter, you know, I guess two weeks ago, when Uruhara told Ashin, you know, the only way your powers will be able to, uh, you'll have access to your powers is if that string, you know, breaks. And I'm thinking to myself, wait a minute, but when he, when his powers reactivate on that episode, I'm thinking Masaki Ben died. So how come it didn't reactivate, you know, right then and there? But then when he explains in this chapter with to Ichigo that his powers was um, suppressing Ichigo's hollow, I guess that's, okay, it, it, it didn't make sense how to, um, why his powers didn't come back right then and there on the fly. But it makes you wonder, what if Masaki was still alive? You know, that hollow side saved Ichigo so many times, you know. So if Masaki was still alive and those racial strings and their souls were still intertwined with one another, and Ichigo went to Soul Society, and then right when Biyaki was geared to kill him. Oh, no, no, no. Actually, let's take it back. <clears throat> when he first fought Renji, Hinato even said he took full blows from a Shikai released of a lieutenant. He said, by all means, they said he shouldn't even, you know, be breathing right now. So, what, would Ichigo would have died? No, maybe if he even got the Jadambo, would he have even made it through that gate? Or, if, like I said, if he got the Renji, well, Renji would have killed him. So, I guess it makes you think, because of Ashin, you know, Ichigo, he was able to uh, succeed. But, or if, or if you actually want to say it, unfortunately... With Masaki dying, with Ichigo's mom dying, you know, it broke that bond, that string, and then it weakened. I, I, I won't say it weakened. It's just you know, uh, uh, Ishin's Riasu was not enough to suppress that hollow side, and it, it activated, and that's when Ichigo won that battle and many more battles. You know, so it, that that's another thing to make you think. So within this chapter, we get good amount of dialogue, cross story progression. Um, Thank God, it seemed like it's almost over. And, and when I say thank God, I'm not saying thank God like this whole flashback arc was bad because we've all been waiting years for this. But now I'm getting to the point now like, okay, cool. You know, it's explained, everything tied together, everything made sense. But now I want to get on to what is going to happen with Ichigo. Now, now that he knows his whole backstory, his past, his origins, he needs to start training, you know, learn some more techniques. Uh, become better, become stronger, all of the above. But now, of course, it's going to go to the real truth behind Masaki's death. And Aizen talked about this in his recent interview regarding, why well, I say his recent interview, his interview before his last interview, before this arc started, he talked about this and he was going to explain. So, of course, it seems like Grant Fisher did not get the job done. And I read a comment in a forum site saying that uh, it does make sense. He said he just could not see somebody as shit as Grant Fisher to just do that. I mean, yes... We know a lot of people look at Masaki like it's just a you know weak Masaki, but you know this guy he was just saying like Grant Fisher. But if I had to guess, it was probably Gene tossing her eyes. And let's not forget they do have those cloaks. You know, they can when they fuse it with the light and Reishi, they can become invisible. You know, and you can't detect the presence. So I'm guessing you know that that that's the only thing I can really think of as of now. But we all know anything can happen. Anything can happen. But whatever it was. Um, Maybe it teamed up with Grand Fisher. I don't know. Maybe Grand Fisher's job was to lure Ichigo away from Masaki. Then whatever kills Masaki goes in for the kill. That's the only thing I could think of. Um, but yeah, like now, oh yeah, and explain. Of course, this explains how Ashin and Uruhara are cool and how they met. But I wonder what is Ryukin's thoughts and feelings towards. Uh, Uruhara, I mean, because we have yet to see interaction between them two ever again. Not to my knowledge, at least. I mean, so, how does that uh, play out? But now, um, we see how everything is connected, how everything works, but we won't really fully see until next week. Oh, yeah, next week, I predict that the whole, it'll be one, well, I hope, I hope, I predict this. It'll be one good whole chapter of explanation. Just, it'll just take one chapter. So, basically, I hope and predict next week will be the last uh, chapter of this flashback. Maybe it'll be everything but the rain, OP10. Alright, and the last page will be when, you know, Masaki died. Or two pages before the last 
or one page before the last, it would be when Masaki died. Then it cuts back to current events when the Sheen is talking to Ichigo and he says, and that's how your mother died. Then he says, so hopefully it says, now that you know your rules, let's get on with the proper way of training. And then it says to be continued. That is what I hope. I really, I really do hope that. Uh, but yeah, that's my whole thing about it. Leads, um, good, cool, straightforward, solid chapter. Um, yeah, so give me your thoughts, comments, and concerns about this chapter. Um, it was one more thing I had to say. Damn it. Hell, it'll come to me. I'll probably put it on my Facebook fan page or down in the comment section below. This is Captain Violet Ace. Thanks for watching, guys. Signing out.